I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true Love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Actually, it's getting close to lunchtime now, but it's been a Christmas movie kind of morning. We've been watching some Christmas movies. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make this cherry cheesecake. It's a no-bake cherry cheesecake. My mama made these every Christmas. She would do cherry ones and I think strawberry ones. We're going to make a cherry one. And then we're going to eat lunch. And then we have to go do some last-minute Christmas errands. So I have a block of softened cream cheese in the bowl. I'm going to put fourth of a cup of sugar. You can do a fourth of a cup or a half a cup. Whipped topping. Up next, a whole eight ounce container. And I sat this out a little over an hour ago. It's still just a tad bit frozen in the middle, but like not even really frozen. It's just still a little just a little icy in the middle, not really icy, it's, it's a little colder in the middle, but it's pretty much thawed out, so we're going to go ahead and get this mixed up. I'm putting in a little bit of vanilla. I don't know if we always do that, but I'm going to do it today, and we're almost done, y'all. I'm telling you, these no-bake cheesecakes are so easy, so quick. It takes like five minutes to put one together, and then you just, you know, let it sit in the refrigerator for a few hours, or you can make them a day or two ahead of time. We just dump it into our pie crust. We're just using a graham pie crust. What I do with mine? Here we go. And then we're using cherry pie filling to go on top. This is kind of one of those things that it wouldn't feel like Christmas if we didn't have a cherry cheesecake because my mama just always made these. <laughs> one more cherry, there we go. Look at that shine on those cherries, it's wonderful. <laughs>
got home a little while ago. Now it's time to cook supper. It's gonna be the fish night. I have butterfly shrimp, two boxes of that. I have these fish fillets, I have hush puppies, and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do baked potatoes. I'll just ask everybody if they want a baked potato. I'm also gonna do slaw if Titus uh, was able to stop by the store for me. They just pulled in. Oh, he's got it. The slaw mix in hand. Don't you just love to come in and grab a Christmas cookie? Are you a tiger or a dinosaur? Oh, I'm a dinosaur? I think I'm gonna bake the hush puppy. Well, let's see. These only have to bake for six to seven minutes. How long does this fish take? 24 to 26 minutes. I think I'm gonna put the fish in the oven and I'm gonna fry the butterfly shrimp and the hush puppies. Titus was gonna grill some fish, but they said they'll just take this and shrimp. So that's what we're gonna do. What are you gonna do with that towel? All right, so this is going in for 26 minutes. While this is heating up, we'll go ahead and make the slaw. I'm always forgetting my apron. Yeah. Sissy reminds me about it. Do you want a baked potato? No. Can you call out there and ask Tyler if he wants a baked potato? Yes. He's out right there in the backyard. I'm taking count on how many baked potatoes to make. <laughs> or instant pot potatoes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour in this whole bag of coleslaw mix. Y'all, Ingles used to have the best coleslaw mix. It was, uh, what was it called? Chef, was it Chef Buddies or uh, something Buddies? I can't remember, but it had a red truck on it. Anyway, it was so good, but they stopped carrying it, so. All right, so we've got mayonnaise in there. Now I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Pepper and salt. <laughs> Looking for the minced onion. Oh, here it is. We're putting in some of this minced onion. You could also, you know, just chop up a onion and put that in here, but the kids like this better. So we just go with the minced onion. Just shake it in, Sissy. I'll tell you when. I forgot to turn this on over here, y'all. Mm. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Now, yeah, you can go ahead and be stirring that up. And we put in just a little bit of sugar. That much right there. All right, that's it for the slaw. It's going in the refrigerator. This little Christmas tree right here should be like Prancer. It keeps getting moved around everywhere. It's been going from room to room. And I was like, I finally was like, who keeps moving this Christmas tree everywhere? Can y'all guess who it was? This one right here. That's a spoon. That is a spoon, you're right. <laughs> is this yogurt good? Where did it go? You know where it went? It's in your tummy tummy. Tummy? Yeah, and no. your pants, and it's in right there on the bench. <laughs> Every time I start cooking supper, it's like Manly thinks it's snack time, so he always comes for a snack when I start cooking. <laughs> Anytime I'm cooking, actually. But usually he's still asleep when I'm cooking breakfast. Yeah. 